During labor, a series of changes occur in the body of a pregnant woman. And these changes include uh, psychological changes as well as uh, physiological changes. And they facilitate the birth process. We're going to be looking at these changes. And um, if you have any question or any comment, don't forget to click on that subscription button. Now, um, looking at the changes, they include contraction of the uterus. That is uterine contraction. Once this onset of labor, the uterus or the uterine muscles begin to contract and tighten, causing the cervix to thin out. And this process is what we call effacement. Um, the cervix open up, it dilates in order to allow the baby to pass through the birth canal. As the contraction continues, the labor progresses. Another change is cervical changes. The cervix undergoes a lot of changes as well. It thins out with the progress of labor. It becomes softer, thinner, and it eventually dilates to allow the baby's head to pass through the birth canal. Um, the cervical dilation is usually measured in centimeters from the onset of level from 0 centimeters to 10 centimeters. That is when the woman is um, fully dilated and it's in indicating that she's ready to deliver. Another change that occurs is rupture of membrane. The membrane usually ruptures is what we call, um, they usually say it's uh, the water breaks. All right. So in some cases, the amniotic sac, the amniotic sac surrounding the baby, the one that uh, contains the amniotic fluid, we know that the amniotic fluid is responsible for nurturing and maintaining the baby. So this amniotic sac ruptures spontaneously and it will now lead to the release of the amniotic uh, fluid in it. Care provider usually my intentionally rupture the membrane in order to facilitate the labor but on its own it can rupture so once the membrane ruptures we see that the labor progresses another change is engagement and descent engagement and descent the baby's in engagement and descent the baby's head engages into the pelvis of the mother and the head starts to descend through the, the birth canal. It begins to descend down into the birth canal. And this movement is often referred to as engagement. And as baby descends, the mother may experience increased pressure in the pelvis. And she also experiences lower back pain in response to the engagement of the fetal head. Then... We also, the woman also experiences expulsion of mucus block, block. The mucus block that seals the cervix during pregnancy. It usually seals the cervix during pregnancy. So once there is onset of level, this block is expelled. And that is why we can see mucus um, coming out with some amount of blood in it. So this is also another change. Then there is blood flow and oxygenation. Blood flow to the uterus usually is increases once there is onset of labor. As I said earlier, in the first changes that occur, we said it's uterine contraction. So as a result of that, there is increased blood supply to the uterus. And this is to provide oxygen to the uterus and to the baby. It also provides nutrient, not only oxygen, but also nutrient to the baby so that the baby can have more energy and the strength it needs to pass through the bed canal. At the same time, blood supply to other parts of the body, that is other areas of the body, decreases, leading to potential changes in um, blood pressure and the fluid balance. So get this, we say there is increased blood supply to the uterus and the baby then we there is decrease in blood supply to other areas of the body 
these are some of the changes that occur during labor they will also have uh, hormonal changes hormonal changes is usually related to the release of some certain hormones in the body the body releases a sort of hormones during labor and these hormones include oxytocin oxytocin is a hormone that is released by the pituitary gland and this hormone is responsible for stimulating the uterus to contract and it's as the uterus contract the labor progresses then there is also endorphins which is another um hormones that is released by the body this endorphins is a natural pain relieving hormones so it may also be released and it helps the mother to uh, cope with the with the labor pain you no know, the, the labor pain can be <laughs> it can be so severe all right but the release of these endorphins help the mother to cope with the labor pain then there is gastrointestinal changes that occur once there is onset of labor the digestive processes may slow down during labor this slowing down of the digestive processes is usually due to increased blood flow to the uterus as we have explained earlier once there is increased blood supply to the uterus there is decreased blood supply to other areas of the body so these gastrointestinal changes occur as a result of that increased blood supply to the uterus and it can result to nausea and vomiting or even changes in the bowel the bowel movement that's why some women when there is onset of labor they, they are in labor you see them vomiting they cannot eat anything they don't have test there is always feeling of that um a feeling of vomiting and there might be changes in the bowel movement it is as a result of increased blood supply to the uterus another change is emotional and uh, psychological changes hmm. labor can be intense and emotional experiences for the mother might be also intense she may experience a range of emotions you know of course women in labor or even before the onset of labor women tend to be anxious so once this onset of that level you see the pregnant woman she's anxious there's that fear there's that excitement there is a lot of sense of empowerment all right and the hormonal changes that occur the release of the oxytocin the endomorphins and others support of they support the team the birth team so the healthcare provider, the healthcare team, at this, they are supposed to encourage the woman, they support her so that she can be able to bear with the changes. She can understand that it's normal to have the anxiety. It is normal to have that sense of um, um, emotional stress and the rest. It is, of course, normal, all right? So the health team can support the woman to understand these changes it is normal pain perception is another change that occur now labor is a common experience during childbirth it is a common experience and uh, the intensity and perception of the pain can vary among women <laughs> i usually used to say that uh, the fulani women are the ones that they have this high pain high level of pain tolerance you hardly see a, uh, a full a new woman that is pregnant you know crying but that doesn't mean that they don't feel the level of pain all right there is this pain perception so the the, the different pain management techniques should be employed at this and these techniques include breathing exercise you can uh, the healthcare provider can teach the uh, woman a labor at this stage to what to begin to carry out breathing exercise breathing and then breathing in breathing out you exhale and um, inhale then there is uh, also relaxation techniques that the healthcare provider can encourage the woman to be involved in then there are pharmacological options and that can help to manage the pain and then um, provide comfort during labor but 
pain is a natural process too. It is important that every woman in level shoe experiences is unique. No matter how you become pregnant, the level might vary. Okay? So every pregnancy is a unique one and every level is a unique one. It comes in a different way. All right. So that is why you, the assistance and the intervention of the healthcare provider should impact positively in the labor process. So these are the changes that usually occur in labor. First, we talk about the uterine contraction. And we said the uterus at the onset of labor begin to contract. And this helps to make the cervix thins out so that the labor can progress. And the contraction of the, the uterus is in response to the release of oxytocin. Okay, then we'll talk about um, cervix dilation, that is the changes in the cervix. It, it becomes softer, thinner, and then it dilates so that the fetal head can be able to pass through the birth canal. We'll talk about engagement of the fetal head. It engages into the maternal pelvis. We'll talk about changes in blood flow. There's increased blood flow to the uh, uterine muscles to, and to the baby then there is decreased blood supply in other areas we've talked about gastrointestinal changes that occur leading to a nausea and vomiting in some pregnant women as a result of increased blood supply to the uterus we've talked about pain perception that it is normal for a woman to have pain during level during level a lot of things happened even as a result of the engagement of the fetal head there is this um, pressure by the fetal uh, head on the pelvis and the surrounding tissues and that will cause a lot of discomfort to the mother and um, uh, also lower pain so this is it pertaining the changes that occur during labor if you have any comment or you have any question, you can do that by subscribing to my channel and um, liking.